When I was at school, I had no idea what I wanted to do when I grew up. I want to do computer science. There was no one telling me what sort of opportunities were out there. And I like creating things and working out problems. Science, technology, engineering and maths really underpins everything we do on a daily basis. I want to build websites. I want to help people with disease. Science, technology, engineering and maths is vital to the future economy of the UK. STEM. STEM is a foundation building block for so many careers. Whether you're a doctor, a lawyer, an accountant. There's energy, there's transport, there's mechanical stuff. Where are the next generation of inventors, IP examiners, patent attorneys, patent judges coming from? I want to be a businessman. I want to invent lots of things. I was inspired to become a STEM ambassador because I knew how important it was to be inspired at school. I had one person today who said to me, I'm definitely going to go into science. I really want to do something like you do. And when you hear that, that's great because that's what you come here to do. You come here to make a difference. That's quite a rare opportunity to, to be encouraged to sit back and think of the value that you have. They see that kind of light up moment where the kid goes, oh, I get it. And that's a really vivid translation of the value you have day to day. We have to influence and get into working with children at all ages. The reason for this is as children get older, there are various points in their life where they have the choice to either stay in STEM or go elsewhere. We have to recognise those points and intervene to help them make the right decision. The STEM Ambassadors Programme is something that the UK government and industry and education have come together to try and encourage greater participation of industry with schools and with education. STEM. So I've been a STEM ambassador for about three years. We go to as many science festivals as possible and we go to things where I do talks at schools and secondary schools, I go to colleges. I've done things with first year infant school about basic maths, coordinates on graphs, finding things. It gives you the opportunity to tell them what your day-to-day -day life is like. It is a big problem with people thinking they're not good enough. To, to be in this field and almost all the time it's completely untrue. There's also a stereotype about girls don't do science-based subjects but that is a lie. I am a girl. Yeah, there is a perception of this science geek or whatever. There are the high flyers in that but we also need the mechanics, the engineers, you know, the guys on the shop floor, production guys. When it comes to what to do with science, you don't have to be a genius. Everything is not rocket science basically. There's always a place for everybody. The main role of a STEM ambassador is to basically inspire the next generation. The STEM ambassador program has lots of interesting and fun programs that you can just become a part of. We tell them that if you go through an apprenticeship route it doesn't mean that you can't go to university. Showing them different routes and making them realise that anything is possible and it's within their reach. STEM. So I became a STEM ambassador to sort of give back to the kids and hopefully provide them with some sort of idea of what sort of opportunities are out there and some of the really interesting stuff that's available to them to give them just a taste of what they could do in their future lives. Innovation is critical to many businesses so we should be doing what we can to make sure that we have the right people coming through with the correct STEM backgrounds so that we can continue to promote business and innovation in the country.